Hi, this is Thomas from AP Scheme Tools. In this video, we're going to look at how you can control uh, the turning of units through script. Now, there are two things you can control. Um, one is how the unit is facing, what direction it's facing, and the next thing is how it actually turns to face in any given direction. So, first off, we're going to look at how you can um, give it an orientation to face. Uh, as you can see, we've created a basic scene here uh, with a ground and a unit on it. And just to show the default behavior, as you probably know, when I select my unit and I start to move it, it will face in the direction of movement. Um, so we're going to change that now. Um, and to do that, we're going to go to see some code. So in our code editor, I've created this simple mono behavior. And in order to make this into something that can control turning, what I want to do is I want to implement an interface called I provide facing orientation. This is a very simple uh, interface, just one method says get orientation. So what I could do here is I could simply return a new facing orientation and obviously set its properties. But instead of doing this, um, since this actually happens quite a lot, um, it will be asking for orientation quite a lot. And if you knew of this every time, we will have a lot of allocations and then quite a bit of garbage collection would have to go on. So instead of doing this, I would instead say, oops, um, put it up here, uh, right there uh, as a private member. And then I would return that down here after manipulating it a little bit and then I would instantiate this in my awake method. Um, and I, in this case I'm actually also going to set some of the properties of it in the awake method because um, in this case I don't w I want those to be the um, constant. I don't want to change those um, all the time. So it has three different properties you can set and two of them we will set as a uh, constant value in here. So the first is the priority. Priority controls um, which facing operation will be chosen by the turner and the higher the priority, um, well the, the one with the highest priority will be chosen. So the default priority is one, this is the one that will turn facing the direction of movement. Um, so we're just going to set this to three. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, set the turn speed and we set that to three as well. So that's basically it. So now all I need to do um, for the implementation of this is to actually set the orientation of my facing. Where do I want it to face? We'll get back to that in just a second. So the second thing I need to do now is that I have implemented my interface, but nobody knows about it. So I need to inform the turner that I am actually ready to provide a facing orientation. Now, instead of having to show you this by writing lots of code, um, I'm just going to drag the snippet in. It's very simple. What you do is in your unenable and undisable methods, unenable you sign up as a as a orientation provider, and in undisable you unregister. Now the turner you can get a hold of um, using this as I control um, facing orientation. So this will get the component implementing this interface on your unit. Um, which will expose these methods for you to sign up and sign off. All right, so that leads us back to the implementation. Now for this implementation, what I thought was, let's try and have the unit simply face in one of the four corners of the world, um, instead of actually facing in the direction of movement. So we will limit it to only be able to face one of the four corners of the world. Now for this implementation, again, I'm just going to spare you looking at me writing code and I'm going to drag in this snippet and as you can see I have the same as before and in addition to that I have defined the four corners of the world and I also got a reference to my unit as a moving object which allows me to get the velocity of my unit. And then lastly I'm going to implement this down here in my um, method and there we go. So from the current velocity, what I'm doing is I'm finding uh, the closest corner of the world given the current velocity and then I'm going to turn my unit to face that corner. And that will be the facing. So the important part of this is that here I actually set the orientation of my facing orientation instance to 
a vector 3, in this case one of the four corners, and then I return that. Okay, so that's it for the implementation um, of a turner or a turning input provider. So if we go back into Unity and I attach, oh, let's just have it recompile, and I attach this script I just created to my unit. So now instead of turning to face direction of movement, it is going to face um, the direction closest um, to the direction of movement. So as you can see, it only faces one of the different corners of the world. Um, it never faces the direct, uh, diagonal directions. All right. So that's an example of doing um, input to where to turn. Now, next thing up is to look at how does the unit actually do the turning. So by default, the units turn simply by having their transforms uh, manipulated. So the turner will take the transform and it will actually turn that. Now, if you want to change that, again, it is very simple. You just need to implement a simple interface. And the reason you might want to do that is if, for instance, you have an animation and you would like that animation to do the turning, um, you would need to change the default um, turning logic. So let's jump back into um, code. And I am just going to basically remove all this and we will implement something else instead. So as I uh, said, um, the only thing you actually need to do is implement an interface. Now there are two options, to be fair. So the, the first one here is to implement this called iTurn units on a mono behavior class. So when I do this, I will get this one method to implement, which is called turn, given um, the desired heading and a desired turn speed. So using these, you can then turn the unit however you want. For instance, you could give this these two inputs uh, to the mechanism state machine and have the animations use these to do the turning. So, um, and of course you can always, if you need uh, other information, like as we did before, we needed the information to get the unit's current velocity, you can always get that from a unit by getting the appropriate interface. Uh, in this case, that would be the um, eye movable object. Um, oh, sorry, I moving object, which will give you access to the velocity of the unit. So this was one way to do it. So obviously you will need to implement this and do something in here. Uh, and then you would need to attach this to your unit. Now the second option, um, let's say that you do not want your uh, turning logic to be on a mono behavior. You have something else that another class that will uh, do um, the logic. So let's just do that. That's a very nice name. Um, so I'm going to implement it uh, in, in this class instead, down here. So this is not a mono behavior. And then instead in my mono behavior, what I can do is I can implement a factory. So you will still need to implement a mono behavior to attach to your unit, but if you do not want the actual turning logic to be on a mono behavior for whatever reason, um, then you can do it like this. So in this case, I'll just be returning um, a new, what do we call it, turning two. So this is a secondary option. Now the first option I showed would probably fit your needs 99% uh, of the time, so just use that. Alright, so that was it for how you can manipulate the turning of units. I hope it made sense.